What's up guys, welcome back to this war of mine. We're on day 19, I believe, and we're gonna pick up where we left off. We are back in our residence and people are not doing too bad. Slightly wounded, recovering, hungry, sad, tired, you know, the usual. Uh, Pavel is um, gonna be going out and doing a lot of the work today. This, didn't we, oh, whoops. Is this gonna get repaired now? Yeah, I was gonna say, we'll, we'll make this. I thought this, we, we boarded this up, didn't we? We had everything in the house boarded up, but now this is open again. So I guess when you get raided enough, they break it down, which really sucks. We need to keep this boarded up because people are stealing everything. We lost a lot of food last night in a raid. Fortunately, we do have some things going for us. We have our, our little mouse trap over here, which is getting us food regularly, which is going to be really important. And we have our uh, rain collector. So when you combine the water and the raw meat you get from that, ooh, someone's at the door, you can, um, you can make soup, which is good. Who's this? Trader. Good. I like traders. Hello. Hello, sir. Wasn't easy to get here. Let's make it worth my effort. Sure. What do you got? That's pretty good. Eight tobacco for all those parts? Hell yeah. But I want more. Okay, this is pretty good. We uh, we managed to collect a bunch of jewelry last time, if you remember. And I was thinking, you know, we might be able to trade it for something good. So we can trade jewelry and a couple of little broken things, crafting components we don't need, for bandages, meds, and, uh, and some components for building stuff. So that's great. That means we're going to be... Close that door. We're going to be uh, stocked up. Yeah, we got lots of bandages, lots of meds, lots of food. So we're doing pretty good. I think we can actually... What's that noise? That was really weird. It sounded like a train passing by. Uh, we can actually spend a couple of nights now just kind of exploring, gathering up some ammunition, trying to get back on track to Avenging Roman. Yeah, it's really good because when you trade for three of these components, you can make a filter and then you can use that filter to make four things of water so we need to remember when we go out and scavenge to prioritize components over water because we can turn them into water it's just kind of a way it's these little things in the game like that that really optimize your scavenging and make the difference between surviving and not okay i think we're i think we're just gonna end the day we're gonna we're gonna do that now i want to get through as many nights as i can because i'm starting to expect the plot to pick up a little bit and uh, and we know what we're doing i realized last episode i messed up we went back to the church we were supposed to go back to Oh god, where were we supposed to go back to? Was it semi-detached house? Ooh, I can't remember. Okay, I'm pretty sure it was semi-detached house. Because it says possible trade, danger, all those different things. We're going to try that. I really hope that that's it. I really hope it's not an empty place. That would be really depressing. And also, I'll apologize for last time. Um, Last episode, my voice sounded very weird in it. I don't know what it was. If it was some weird rendering error, or if YouTube messed something up, but I sounded very, like, tinny and hollow. I didn't realize until long after it was uploaded, and I didn't want to edit it and then re-upload, so I'll do my best to make sure this episode I sound deep and bassy and, uh, and back to my normal self, because I try to uphold a kind of quality on the channel, so I wasn't really impressed with that, but it's kind of all I can do. I don't think we need any weapons. This is going to be a stealth break-in. This is going to be, like, Ant-Man style. Please let this be the right place. Okay, this is the right place, thank god. Yeah, what what it was was we dug out down here. Last episode, we got rid of all the stuff so that we can actually break underneath them. So we go down here. Let's just zoom in a little bit. What was in here? I don't remember. Probably, probably garbage. That's not, you know, that's not nothing. So we were going to finish off this one little rubble pile. Just give that up. And now we, we're underneath them. So now we need to be really careful because this is where all the armed people are and this house. Yeah, you see, that's that's a, that's a stealing one. But what do you get if we steal? An AK-47? Okay, that's, that's a thing. Oh shit. I don't have any weapons, so we need to be really careful. Um, so that's the stairs that's going to lead up into their building. This is super sketchy. Okay, let's see if we can break it down. Oh, nope, 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 not going to break it down. We're, we're leaving. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. All the nope. So much nope. We're just going to take crafting components. That's that's all it's going to have to be. We can't steal from them. Crap, he's coming down here. Come on, man. I'm not breaking in or anything. Leave me alone. Uh, uh, run to exit. Run to exit. Run to exit. Oh, my God. Oh, he actually... I don't know if he didn't see me or if he just didn't care. 
You know what? Whatever. That wasn't that wasn't useless. We got oh, what is in here? We got an AK-47 out of that. We can we can actually trade that for a lot of stuff, or just be happy to have an assault rifle. So I'll call this night a uh, success. Come on, don't be raided. Don't be raided. Day twenty. Ooh, curb on crime. Is that good? Does that mean there's less crime? I was actually wondering about that because I heard that the crime outbreaks are just that. They're outbreaks. But it seems like that one lasted like two weeks of the three weeks we've been here. The night was calm. Or is this game finally not going to bone us? Are we actually turning this around? <laughs> oh, I should mention, I went back and uh, and quickly traded with the trader. Uh, some of the garbage we found, I traded for three things of ammunition. So now we have a little more ammunition. I think we have... Probably like five, nine. So we're getting there. We're we only need probably like another night's worth of ammunition rating, and then we can go kill all those brothel assholes. It's that time again. People didn't eat yesterday, so they need to eat today. So we're gonna have Bruno cook up some delicious soup for everybody. I'm curious if you actually start with the same people every time, or if you get different people. Like, did I get really lucky? I feel like Bruno is one that you really want. Having a good cook is something that's incredibly important for survival. So you can have some, yeah, you can have some, you can have some, my stomach is rumbling. Well, we are all over this. It's getting cold. Should we, maybe we should uh, put some stuff in the furnace. We haven't done that yet, I don't think. Let's try that. Is it, is it on? Did it work? I think it worked. Yeah. Oh, and our temperature is going up. Good. So we're burning a little bit of fuel, I guess. And yeah, it's getting nice and toasty in here. Oh crap, someone's at the door. Oh, no. Okay, let's not send Marco, because if we say no, we're... Let's send Bruno, he's an asshole. Oh, no, do we have another survivor coming? I can't tell. It's a woman. The reason I'm sending Bruno and not Marco is because Bruno is an asshole. He only thinks of himself. If we send Marco and we need to turn this woman away, he's going to be so depressed. Okay, open the, open the door, Bruno. You see, he doesn't even... I'm just looking for shelter. Have a heart. What do you want? Amelia! Excuse me for this intrusion. I'm really embarrassed to ask this of you, but would you let me stay with you for some time? I can't go home. I tried to stay in my law office, but that area has recently become very dangerous. I really have nowhere to go. Mm, I, I always do this. I do, I've do. i noticed in every video, every time I have one of these really tough decisions, that it's the beard stroke. You need to think about it. Okay, so I just looked up what Amelia's story is. Apparently, she is a lawyer, as she says, and uh, because that, her characteristics are that stealing and killing people, she gets less affected by it, so she doesn't feel as bad, but uh, she has weakness of being a coffee drinker. We don't have a lot of coffee, so it's kind of a pro and con, and it's another mouth to feed, but if we send her away, we're going to be super depressed. Ah, uh, like... Okay, fine, you can stay. Good to have some friendly people at last. Yeah, you better make it worth our while. And you're wounded. Great. Just go take Roman's bed. Roman didn't have a bed? We only have three beds. Crap. So where are we going to go tonight? Because we need to go somewhere and actually get some stuff. We have a quiet house, food, meds, and parts. Food, huge amount of materials, meds, parts, danger. No, we want weapons. Weapons, danger. Meds, materials, what is this all about? It was supposed to be a luxurious residential area. There was a great hype of apartments there, uh, but the developers fled abroad and the war started. Recently, the military, military wrestled control over this area from the rebels. We could scavenge whatever the rebels left behind, but there was a risk of encountering military patrols. That doesn't sound too bad, actually. That might be doable. I think we're going to send Amelia because, because why not? So we want to avoid combat at all costs. We're going to sneak around, do our best, try not to encounter anybody. But if we do encounter somebody, it's kill on sight because it's going to be military. Um, I don't know what we want to take here. I think we'll leave that for now. The thing is, she's already wounded, so she's walking like an idiot. Can we go down here? What did she, she just did like a little pirouette? down here. More building supplies. Lovely. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's that's probably people. And sneak quietly, he says. Okay, so that's... That's definitely people. Something blocking it on the other side. Yeah, okay. 
Well, let's just... Oh, shit, shit, shit. Why are you running? Why are you running around? Why are you running? Okay, they're going upstairs. That's not... Not my concern. Like, I, I, I want, I'm inclined to play zoomed in because it makes the game, like, more entertaining to watch. But at the same time, I want to play, like, all the way zoomed out. <laughs> so I can actually see when people are going to jump me and mess me up. Okay, we don't need weapons parts. We need food. Like, I really... I, I kind of want to run into people, but at the same time, I really don't. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That guy just got shot by a soldier. Oh, shit. Run, run, run. No, run, run. Run to exit, run to exit, run to exit. No, fuck. Oh, not again. Well, she had a short run. Oh, God. And the worst part is, again, that is all of our stuff. That's our helmet gone. That's our gun gone. That's our ammo gone. We're, we're going back there. We're going back there tonight. We're doing it right now. We're going to sneak back there. We're going to get all that stuff and get back home. And that's going to be our run because... Oh, that is just... That is just devastating. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have hesitated. I should have just broke out my shotgun and messed that guy up. He didn't open fire on me right away, so I just assumed... He might have not have been soldier. He might have been one of people running. Like one guy got messed up by a soldier and just dropped at my feet. Marco, why are you so depressed? You didn't even know her. She was here literally an afternoon. Like I've had I've had meals that lasted longer than Amelia. Those kids never did come back. I, I expected them to come back and thank me for saving their mom and giving me something, but they didn't. They just they just took all my meds and left. Ungrateful little trick-or-treaters, man. Okay, end the day. We're just we're going for it. We're going right now. I believe in you, Marco We just need to get our shit and get out We're not even gonna look at all this stuff. We already know what's here um, Amelia died around here somewhere, I think Right maybe up here I don't even know if your stuff, if you can recover stuff when you die, to be honest. I don't think I have done it before. Okay, yeah, we have. Right here, right here, right here. Just quiet, quietly, and grab all that stuff. What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? Uh, maybe, maybe she was a talent lawyer, but it did her no good. It doesn't matter now. War makes everyone equal. Okay, grab all her shit. We didn't run into any, we didn't run into any problems. Do we... Are we pushing our luck by going upstairs? I think we're pushing our luck by going upstairs. This is a bad idea. He says as he continues to move forward. Don't you die on me, Marco, but we're gonna, we're gonna avenge Amelia. You really liked her. Breach and clear. Just, just breach and clear. Honestly, though, I have not seen any soldiers yet. This is so goddamn tense. If we lose Marco, I'm done. Just, just done. Do we, we don't have a saw, do we? Frig. Bet you there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Nothing over here, okay. Well, I don't know where those soldiers went. We went balls out, you know. We weren't uh, we weren't gonna puss around. They're they seem to have disappeared. They dropped a guy like in the middle, though. His body should still be here somewhere. I'm actually sweating right now. Like this is how intense this is. What was in this? Food and meds and ammunition. Yup. Okay, I don't see any soldiers. I don't see any thing that else that we can get. I think we're done. I think this was actually a successful run. We managed to not, like, die. Is that... is that it? Okay, run, run to exit. It's fine. 
<sighs> Day 22. Probably no crime? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb and, and hope for no crime? Maybe? No crime! Okay, and we got back with all of our stuff! Alright, we're good! That kind of sucks. I, I mean, like I said, I don't want to run into soldiers, but at the same time, both for entertainment purposes and to avenge Amelia, it would have been nice to uh, to mess up those two soldiers, but I guess the, the event kind of occurs and then the place is empty? I don't really know. I've never really had to go back and do that. It won't be like that at the brothel, I know, because those people live there. The soldiers, I think, they were just passing by. I don't know. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hopefully next episode. I think we're doing good now. I think we have we have 15 ammo, so I'm willing to bet that next episode we revisit the brothel. We go back, we can find Roman's body and put him to rest. We can absolutely mess up those douchebags that gunned him down. We will get it done. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Oh <gasps> yes, suck it! Who, who did that? Who did that? I need to- Oh, I think it was that guy. I think I ate him. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know. Was it you? You can have- Yeah, we'll be friends. I'll give you a little bit. Number two. 